Hey guys, it's Marlo back again with yet another NECA video review for you guys and I am just back from San Diego Comic Con. Had a couple days at work and finally have some downtime once again. So I'm back at doing some reviews. I'm behind as I said in I believe one of my other videos previously. Still need to do this NECA Pennywise the Dancing Clown set there as well as the Pennywise accessory set. But before we get into that, I'll do those in a separate video. I was thinking of doing do them all in one video, but what the heck, I'll, I'll break it up into three separate videos for you guys. But we'll start off with this one. This is the San Diego Comic-Con 2019 exclusive, and it is the Pennywise etched version based on, I guess, this etched image here of Pennywise. Pretty simple box, all white there, if you could see at the back says there. You can read that if you wish. Pause the video. I'm gonna move on. Some images there of the product inside. Pretty much black and white with gray tones and the only colored thing there seems to be the balloon. So that really stands out and I guess it also comes with a black and white version of the balloon if you want that. It there is kind of a nice metallic red. It's reflective there catches the light just right you can see right there and it's all throughout the box there on the front as well if it catches the light just right you can see the red which is pretty cool so just like the other ultimate figures it comes with a door that opens up with the velcro to hold it in place you can see a nice shot of Pennywise there on the inside flap and inside the figure itself with an extra head the two balloons like I stated, an extra hand there for the balloon, and if you look closely you can see some of that etched look detail throughout the figure. So let's go ahead and open them up and take a closer look at the 2019 NECA exclusive etched Pennywise. And here we have the figure out of package. And before we take a closer look, I just wanted to show you guys the uh, little background insert there. It's kind of a uh, cross-hatched image. It's mostly black, but you can kind of see some white showing through, kind of, you know, to emulate that kind of etched look there. So that's kind of interesting. And real quick, the accessories. He just comes with the extra head sculpt here. Hopefully it'll focus. And you can see some of that kind of cross-hatched etching type detail along the side of the face there. And of course he has sort of a uh, black wash over the uh, grayish uh, plastic that the head is molded in, more or less. So it's like a black and white image. And you can see there with the eyes those are the only white areas there. So grayish plastic, a black wash with some black uh, printing over it and white in the eyes. So this isn't really a must have, I would say. It's more or less basically a repaint, but for you diehard uh, Pennywise fans, you know, this might be something just to uh, add to the collection, just to say, you know, you've uh, picked up all the Pennywises. But again, it is just a repaint. Again, a closer look at this head sculpt here. Hopefully it'll focus. There we go. Again, you can kind of see that sort of etching detail scattered throughout. You can see some there along the side of the rib cage and along his skirt area. You can see some of those hatch marks there. So again, just emulating an etched drawing or something like that. Again, that sort of grayish plastic with a white, uh, not white, but a black wash throughout. And uh, yeah, along the back there, you can see some of that funky hash marks going along the skirt. So, I'm not going to go over the articulation because if you have any of the Pennywises released so far, it is exactly the same. Again, more or less a repaint. So I just want to show you the details 
just to show you if, you know, this repainted version is enough of a different thing for you guys to want to have to add to the collection. I don't know, it's kind of neat. Uh, as a completist, I'm glad to have it. I was at Comic Con and, uh, you know, just glad to pick up a cool exclusive. But out of all the exclusives that they released this year, this was sort of towards the bottom of my list because, again, you know, it's yet another Pennywise. Uh, I have a whole bunch already. As you can see, I have one more back there to review the uh, Dancing Clown version. Um, let's look at the balloons. He does come with the extra hand here, just like we've seen before. Just, oops, in that grayish etch style. Dropped it already. <laughs> And the only colored thing in the set is the red balloon, which will stand out nicely, as you can see there in the uh, product image. And if you just wanted to go for an overall black and white type look, you have this balloon. It is exactly the same as the red balloon in every way. Just molded in that gray color with, again, some etched marks throughout. Just, again, to give it that look of an etched uh, drawing or print so kind of neat again not a must-have in my opinion but just a cool exclusive I guess to have to complete the collection and something to tease while we wait for it chapter 2 so that's more or less it guys stay tuned for reviews on the accessories set and the Pennywise the Dancing Clown hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing and review if you did please give the video a thumbs up Share the video, like the video, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. Take care, guys. Keep on collecting, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.